Hi, it's Shanine from The Neat Photography and I'm showing you some of my favorite quick and easy Photoshop tricks and tips that I like to use when editing my images. First, I'm gonna be using this selfie picture of me wearing my C crown. Um, as you can see, I have a few stray hairs. I have some blemishes just above my lip and some eyeshadow that's just fallen in the corner of my eye. So I'm gonna click on the spot healing brush, get a small brush I'm going over the upper lip and the spot just under my eye where the eyeshadow is falling. Zooming out and I'm noticing a pimple here which is kind of annoying so I'm going to get rid of that. Next I'm going to fix up my stray hair. So using the clone stamp tool I'm going to go over all my stray hairs just to fix it up. Now you're going to want to create a copy of your original image. Um, at this point I'm going to add colour to my lips because I forgot to wear lipstick. So clicking on the brush tool and choosing a light shade of pink, I'm going to go over my lips. Don't forget to adjust the brush size so you can get into the final little gaps there. Once you've done that, on the right hand side click on overlay and change the opacity to a level that you think looks natural. I'm going to bump it down and I'm not liking the shade of my lips so I'm going to choose a darker pink and I'm just going to quickly go over them. Just changing the opacity to bring out the color. Now I'm going to add some blur. So go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. I'm going to leave it at my 1.5 settings. I'm now going to change the curves. So adding more lights to the image just to lighten up the shadow on the left side of the face. I'm going to adjust the black in my image so my hair is a little darker since we've removed the shadow. Adjust the whites as well. Now I'm going to crop it just so I can get rid of half my arm and my like arm fat whatever that's there. I'm going to crop that out and I'm done. If you have any questions or want to know any more tips and tricks in Photoshop and things that I do when I'm editing photos, please leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye!